AI is so advanced right now, so can you tell if this video is even real or fake? Are we all just AI prompts? Is this world even real? What if it's all just one big AI simulation? What if we were created with prompts? All of the videos you just watched were created using only one single prompt. Well, that's the power of the new Google VO3 model, and I can confidently say that VO3 is making a significant impact in the world of AI. Currently, we have Kling AI and Sora AI, both released in 2024, which are good tools. But now, VO3 has surpassed them in several important areas. Just look at these impressive videos I created with only one prompt. It's truly remarkable. That's why in this video, I will show you how to use this AI tool to generate some truly impressive videos. Plus, I'll explain how you can use it 100% free, so you won't have to spend a single penny. So let's get straight into it. To start off, go ahead and open the official Google DeepMind webpage. As you can see, VO3 is currently available only through Gemini and Flow. So, let's begin with Gemini. Once you click the Gemini button, a new page will open. Now here's the good part. Gemini offers a one-month free trial without requiring any payment upfront, which I'm currently using. All right, once you've activated the free trial, go ahead and open up Gemini. On the left side, you'll see three different models you can choose from. I personally prefer using the Pro model for the best results. Also, I currently have two video creations left for today, but it's not a problem because the credits will eventually reset. Just below that, click on the video button and you'll notice the video model is automatically set to VO3. Now, all that's left is to enter a prompt to generate your video. So let me show you a simple way to create one. To create the prompts, we'll use ChatGPT, so go ahead and open it. Once you're in, in the prompt section, write that in the same chat, ChatGPT will be your assistant for generating prompts for VO3. And right below that, just copy the exact prompt that I'm using for the best results. Once that's done, just click generate. And just like that, from now on, ChatGPT will help you create video prompts for VO3 with just a few simple instructions. Now, for example, I'll ask ChatGPT to create a video prompt about a man playing a Vivaldi masterpiece on the violin. And right below that, I'll just give some simple appearance instructions, like how the environment and the character should look. Once that's done, just click Generate. And just like that, ChatGPT will give us the perfect video prompt that we'll use to create the video. All right, now that you have the prompt, simply copy it and head over to Gemini. Here, just paste the prompt into the prompt box and after that, click Generate. Now, as you can see, this process usually takes around two to five minutes. And once it's done, your video will be fully ready. So let's see how it came out. Wow, the video looks amazing. It's like a real person is actually playing the violin. It's honestly insane. So now let's go ahead and create another one. Just like before, head back into ChatGPT. For this one, I'll ask it to create a video prompt about a girl sitting in her car, stuck in traffic. And right next to that, as you can see, I've added what she'll be saying in the video. It's super easy. Once that's done, just click generate. And within seconds, the prompt will be ready for you. All right, now, just like before, copy the entire prompt from here, then head over to Gemini, paste the prompt into the prompt box, and finally click generate. The generation process works the same for all videos. So once it's ready, let's check out how the video turned out. I can't believe this is happening. This is just insane. VO3 literally makes every video look like real life. Now, I also tried creating a cinematic action video with Gemini, so let's see how it turned out. All right, now that we've tested out VO3 in Gemini, let's try it out using Flow. Since there, you get a bit more advanced settings. To start off, open the Flow webpage, and once you're in, click on the Create with Flow button. Here, you can simply sign in using the same account that has the free trial. And once that's done, as you can see, now we're in Flow. To start off, click the button on the left side. As you can see, there's the Text to Video feature, then Frames to Video. And below that, there's also an Ingredients to Video feature, but that one is available for Ultimate users only, so we'll stick to the first two. Let's begin with the text to video feature. Once that's selected, go ahead and open the settings tab on the right side. In the first option, you can choose how many videos you want to generate per prompt. 
Just below that, you'll find the model settings, which are very important. As you can see, you have access to fast mode and quality mode, but those options are based on VO2. To use the VEO3 model, you'll need to select the highest quality setting, since that's the one that uses VO3, so make sure to choose it before generating. All right, now let's create our first video. For this one, I'll ask it to generate a close-up shot of a frying pan with sliced onions sizzling in it. You know, that instant sizzling sound when they hit the pan. Right next to that, I'll add an audio prompt that says distinct sizzle. Once that's done, just hit generate and the process will begin. It works just like before and should only take a few minutes. Then we'll check out how the video turned out. All right, after a couple of minutes, the video is now ready. So let's take a look and see how it turned out. Yep, this is just insane. It looks so real. The sound effects are incredibly realistic, and honestly, it's just spot on. Now, to download the video, click on the download button above it. As you can see, you have a few options. You can download it as a GIF in 270p, as the original in 720p, or even upscale it and download it in 1080p. Personally, I prefer downloading the original version. All right, now let's try to create a spy video that looks like it's straight out of a Netflix movie. To do that, in the prompt section, I'll ask it to generate a close-up of two spies exchanging information in a crowded train station. I'll also add some dialogue between them and I'll make sure both characters speak with one being male and the other female, so the video includes two distinct voices. Okay, now that the prompt is ready, just like before, I'll click generate and without wasting time, let's check out how it turned out. The microfilm film is in your ticket. They're watching the north exit. As you can see, the video turned out pretty good overall, but there were a few glitches near the end. So I went ahead and created another version using the same prompt. Let's see if this one came out any better. The microfilm is in your ticket. They're watching the north exit. This one is a lot better, so you get the point. VO3 might make a few mistakes here and there, but overall, the quality is pretty consistent. So now, let's try out the frames to video feature. First, scroll down and open the features section, then select frames to video. As you can see, you'll need to upload a first frame image and a last frame image. For example, for the first frame, I've generated an image of Thanos standing in a battlefield, not fighting yet. And for the last frame, I've created an image of Thanos in action, with a lot of effects around him. Once that's done, I will enter a prompt to animate both of the frame images. As you can see, I've described how each frame should look when it's brought to life. You can easily create a similar prompt using ChatGPT, just like before. All right, let's go ahead and generate the video. But keep in mind, the frames to video feature currently only works with the VO2 model. That means there won't be any sound effects, and the quality might be a bit lower. But honestly, it still looks pretty good. So let's check out how the video came out. While this video was created using VO2, it's still impressive, but let's be honest, VO3 definitely takes things to a whole new level. Now, let's take a quick look at the pricing. Originally, using VO3 required a subscription of $250 per month, but that's now been reduced to $125 per month. It's still a bit on the pricey side, but let me know in the comments what you think about the new price. Also, keep in mind that within the next few weeks, other AI tools might let you use the VO3 model for a much lower price, which could be a great opportunity to start your own faceless channel. Now, to wrap everything up, Google VO3 is by far the most impressive model I've seen so far, and its capabilities will only continue to improve. So as always, keep pushing and see you in the next one.